Hi everyone, Keyless Entry here. Uh, tonight I'm just making an entry into Butcher's, the Butcher's Block 156 subscriber giveaway. Um, mate, big, big congrats, mate. Uh, awesome picker, awesome content. Love your videos, mate. Pure entertainment. But um, I think you have to change the name of your uh, giveaway because, mate, you're in the mid 180s now, so, <laughs> mate, you'll get 200 in no time. Um, Alright, I had to pick a favourite lock, so um, it was very, very hard to do. So, I'm biased towards Lockwoods. I have picked this Lockwood uh, 245.50. A little bit tarnished there, but you know, it's not it's not a brand new lock. Um, I have modernised it a little bit. I have put spools in there. Uh, there's modern spools like you get in the 334B45s. There's your bitting, so you got low, low, high, mid. Uh, six pinner. All right, let's get this done, and this will be a donation entry. So I'm do donating my entry. Um, all right, so let's get this in the was. So this is one of my favourites because it's got a dead core, dead shackle, and it's carry tape. So that's quite unusual for a brass padlock like this. So um. Definitely one of my favourites, and I love the bit, the bitting, and the spools that I've put in there. So, yeah, cool. All right, we need a tensioner. So, one point two for the C four. Probably this side. The core is a little bit recessed. There we go. And um, just grab the whole to penny range, why don't we? So, there's some low cuts down the front. So, we'll go scimitar first. Let's see how we go from there. So I'm not going to zoom in or change angles. Of, you know, time is of the essence. Time is precious. So I'm just going to try to pick it. One, two. Go okay, threes in the belly of the spool now. Go a deeper hook. Try the three set. So let's go under these two. Hopefully hit three. Count uh, how many is three of them? There. I don't think that was three. Hmm. Something is afoot. Something was dropped on here, number five. And we got an open. Look at that, cool. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So I'm just gonna do a very, 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 very quick cutting. And um, show you guys the innards. Okay, so I just got a 5.30 kick in here. Total dismantulation, how's that? Alright, so winding back back. Oh, it's got these silly, and these silly clips that go all the way around almost. Myself too much. I'm going to spin that off. There we go. There we go. He's off. That's the hardest part. Ah, the key. Where are you? There you are. And I need a shin because of that so clip. I just created a bit of a gap in there. Alright, so. Yep. Alrighty, so six pin. 
Probably going to need a picking. Um, one, two, barely, as you can see. Three, quite high. Yeah, yeah. All right. <laughs> So I've balanced up the stack. It's got a very short bottle, so I've got spools of different lengths in here. Um, so I'm being pedantic with the springs because. So it is quite late here, everyone's asleep, except me, heading off to bed soon. Right, let's arrange these. Alright, so. There are your pins. A5 and their focus. There we go, so you've got all tapered key pins. Um, yep, so long keep-ins, short spools, and vice versa, and six copper springs. And I am donating my entry, so I'll be donating my entry to Rook Knight. It's the colours, mate, so, alrighty, so, um, yes, uh, good luck to everyone who enters. Um, another big congrats to the Butcher's Block, mate, you're doing wonderful things. Um, yeah, just can't speak highly enough here, mate, so... Big congrats once again. All right, guys, that's it from me. Um, once again, good luck to all, and uh, I'll see you guys on the next one. Take care.